everybody, it's Dave with Wags Automotive. I'm down here in North Carolina. I've been working on a couple projects. I'll be putting videos on line pretty quick for them if I haven't already. And uh, today we want to do something a little different. This lift I've been using for my 55, is the, cylinders, the cylinders have gone bad on it. And we got to replace them. And we looked online and there's no videos showing how to do this. So I decided to make one so you guys can see it. So let's take a look at this thing real quick. So we got a forward lift, car lift, uh, double post, floor mount, above ground. It's got a, it's, it's a 9,000 pound capacity. It's got a, a, a hydraulic tank on the side there. We've had it a few years. It's worked really well, but the cylinders are leaking. That one over there was leaking pretty bad. We've already replaced that one because I wanted to do one before I made a video, so I made sure we knew what we were doing. But basically what you got to do to start out with uh, on this type of lift, there's a brace there that goes across. You got to take that off. And there's a fitting uh, for the hose up at the top. And there's a bolt that goes across that holds the cylinder in up there. You got to take those loose once you get everything else done. But don't do that yet. So what we've done is we've taken an a, uh, engine hoist and attached it to the lift. We've taken the arms. There's the arms on the floor. We've taken those off. Try to reduce weight. So we've attached this lift to it. We got to raise it up enough to release this uh, lock. So we've got that released. And then we've got to take the nut. There's, it's double nutted on the bottom right here. You see this, this threaded area. So it's double nutted. You, it's a one and a, it's one and an eighth inch nut. So you take, uh, you need two wrenches to take that off because it's double nutted. You take the first nut off and the second nut off. We just spun it off with a uh, impact wrench. Um, so you take those two nuts off, and then we're gonna, just going to let this down slowly while we let the lift down at the same time. So I'll show you how we're going to do that while we're letting it down. Uh, my brother's going to put his ladder in place, and then uh, he'll kind of stand up there and give it a little bit of weight. Of course, I don't even know if we need to do that, to tell you the truth. But Let's uh, get this set up so we can watch how this is done. So I'm going to set this camera over here and show you how, how we get this thing to come down. by yourself or with you and another guy because I guarantee it weighs probably four or five hundred pounds you're not going to be able to hold it. It's a good idea to have an engine hoist. Now see the, the slack's coming out of the chain and I'll come back over here and I'll hit this. Come back over here hit this it'll let it down some more until the chain keeps cable tight. Until the chain uh, gets tension in it and that way we're keeping the this cable tight too. You want to keep tension on the tail cable. You don't want the cable to lose tension. We'll keep letting it down until we can get the uh, cylinder to come out of the bottom of the, or the top of the, of the chain hoist there. Alright, come down this way a little bit more. It's a little bit of a process, it takes a little bit of time, but it'll, it'll come down. see um, we're free of the lift so we got get around here where you can see it we got a hose connected right there with a 90 degree fitting you don't need to take that fitting off of the new cylinder but the upper one you will and then I don't know how well you guys can see this I'll try to get my camera up here right where my fingers pointing that area that's 
a lot of light coming through it right there. That's where the hose comes through. You want to make sure you put it back through that same area. There's the top nut. You can see that, how that's, how that's uh, set up. So you got to take the nut loose on the top, nut the bolt, then you got to take the, uh, the fitting loose on the hose. I want to try to get this whole thing in because getting this cylinder out is a bit of a trick. Um, so let me get this thing turned up to where you guys can see what we're doing. Got some flags in the way. There we go. Okay, now we can see. So we'll show you how the cylinder comes. So we got to take both hoses off. And then we got to take the nut loose on the top, the nut and the bolt, and then we'll pull the cylinder out the bottom and put the new one in the same way. That's the T hose on this side. That's, that's like the T fitting. Yeah, it goes over that. So this side over here we're doing is that you got a T fitting on the top. He showed you that in the pictures because it's got a hose that runs over the other side. The other side will just have a, a 90 degree fitting or a straight fitting and it screws right straight into the top of the cylinder. So this side the T fitting. It's a little more complex, but once you get up there, you'll figure it out. It ain't that hard to do. You want to have a uh, drain pan handy so you can catch the fluid unless you want to make a mess all over your floor but I would recommend it it's 11 16 these fittings here are they're not super tight because they're hydraulic fittings so you're going to get a little bit of oil coming out of this thing I guess when you take this side loose you got a little bit of a mess going on Yeah, we had this can, we forgot it was underneath the lift and dropped the lift on it and smashed it. <laughs> it happens. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes it, when we did the other cylinder, it didn't, it didn't spray anything out, but this side here, it had pressure on it to spray a little bit of fluid out. So we made a little bit of a mess, but not the end of the world. We'll get it cleaned up. All right, ready to take the cylinder down? Oh, that's all right this well. stepper here we're gonna sell anybody want to buy it <laughs> it's just freshly oiled all right take this thing outside it's just got oil in it all right so we pulled that cap off the cylinder outside and we filled this can clear full of fluid so there was a lot of fluid in there and still isn't all drained out we got to dump this in there and then fill it up again so you can expect these cylinders to have fluid in them. I'm really surprised the first one we took off didn't have fluid in it. Um, but it didn't for some reason. But this one did. So you need to make sure you have drain, drain pans and probably some a clean container to put the oil in. A gallon jug or something that's clean that you can put the oil in so you can reuse it. Because this oil is like 18 bucks a gallon. So anyhow, we got this all drained out. Now we got to put the new cylinder in. All right, we're trying to get something to clean this mess up off the floor. No. All right, we're back. We got the uh, Exxon Valdez cleaned up. And now we're ready to put the cylinder in. So we did not put the fitting in the top because we don't want to damage it, shoving it up in there. So and don't forget to put tape on the threads on the fitting because they're pipe fitting, pipe threads. Okay. <laughs>
zip ties on the hose just to hold it against the silver so it doesn't flop around in there. Probably a good idea to do that. Then you gotta reach in there and you gotta be able to take. Let's see, am I, am I below it still? Yeah. Okay. You gotta be able to move it around. You gotta reach up in here, line up your bolt with your bolt hole. Bunch of juke in there. I don't know what that crap is. And then jack it up slowly while you're feeling it. nuts on it so we use an impact run the first one down really tight good and tight and then the second nut which is the jam nut we just hit it a couple times we don't you don't want it super tight it, it just basically holds the first nut from turning okay raising it up so it's going to stay locked in place. Yeah, that would have been fun to watch. All right, so that's basically it. We're going to uh, raise the hoist up until the jacks are all even, but uh, we, don't, we don't have any oil with us in this Christmas day, so we're not going to be able to put oil in it and get it to move. But this is basically the gist of replacing the cylinder. So you guys know how to do that. First, you got to fill it up. It's going to have air in it. you got to run the hydraulic pump until you get the air out of the system. The air will pump. You don't have to worry about breaking hoses loose or anything. The air will pump into the tank and then float to the top of the oil and eventually the air will get out of it. But you just gotta keep running it till, till the air is out of it. So that's basically it for replacing the cylinder. So I'll put this on YouTube and now we'll have a video for forward lifts, 9,000 pound lifts, how to replace the cylinders on. It's really not that hard. So it took, we've been doing this about maybe two hours. So two and a half, but that's, that's how you do it guys. Thanks for watching.